Hi, everybody. Last piece of our order from Rose Linlin. Now, so I'm waiting. One order is still on the way is my shower curtain from Amazon. It's, I've, it is hung up in customs. Oh, wait. Or is it? Okay, this isn't my last part from Rosalind Lynn. This isn't my new shorts. Although they are on the way. Oh my gosh. It is my gothic leverage, but I'm not too pleased with the quality. I mean, look at the print. It seems kind of blurry. Maybe that's just this company. I think, I thought, this, I thought it was the same company that did, um, my steampunk one, but apparently not. Well, I guess it's not too bad. It is kind of blurry. If you look at it up close, it's kind of blurry. But it has some of the details, and it has the table and the book. And I'm going to hang that up in my bathroom. Um, I'm going to wash the steampunk one and hang it in my and back in the entryway from the dinette to the laundry room but I need to find another way to hang that ah, here I thought it was my cool freaking shorts I was gonna wear them well again it is kind of it's not at, this is not as clear as I would have imagined it would be so And there's no invoice. This is it's from Zong. So basically, if you're going, it's that Zong is not the company I ordered from. To be honest with you. So it looks like it's a ripoff. It's it's. A, Definitely the quality is not what they showed on the ad for Amazon. And it's not even the same company. So be careful when you order from Amazon, just like anyone else. You're not sure what you're going to get my, the steampunk one, steam diesel punk, most likely, more likely because it does have references to gas and fuel and things like that. That one I ordered, I don't usually order from Walmart, but that one was walmart.com. They're trying to be Amazon, basically. They're trying to put each other out of business, probably. Don't quote me on that. Um, that one, whatever company that was, that I'm pretty pleased with the quality and the detail of the graphics on that. But the size is kind of tiny. So that one, it's two different companies, but that one, the detail's nice, but the shower curtain is way too small. This one, the shower curtain's the right size, and the detail's kind of pixelated and kind of grainy. It looks like somebody copied the one that I was trying to get. Like I said, Zong is not the name of the company that I ordered it from. So, beware. Even with Amazon, you have to beware because there are knockoffs out there, and this is definitely a knockoff. Will it do what I want it to do? It's a shower curtain. Will it add to the aesthetic of my bathroom? Not the way I wanted it to, but it's better than the ripped up piece of plastic that I had as a liner behind the diesel punk one because it was so small. There was like a good gap like this big. I had to scoot the curtain all the way toward the shower head and there's like a gap like this on the other side of it. Fortunately, I'm not a very tall person, and I'm heavy, but I'm not 
real heavy, so I'm just like right toward the front of the shower. Anyway, so the water, if I angle the shower head just right, the water's not going to go out. But I had to fold a plastic curtain liner to get it to fit that, and so it ripped. So I'm going to need another liner, and I will put that one up, and I will show you what it looks like after it's up. And again, I am not pleased. It's not worth the money I spent on it. I think I spent like 20 some odd dollars plus shipping. Again, it's not not the brand I ordered and the, the quality of the graphics is not that great. It's not anything like the picture. So again, just a word of warning. Double check and make sure you're getting your items from who you're supposed to be getting them from because sec, you know, other third, second and third parties will pop up and they will do cheap knockoffs. That's my video for today. I was, I saw the white package and that's the way Rosalind Lynn sends theirs as well. Standard white plastic wrap. Yes, I got my short, my pants, shorts, whatever. The black and gray strap bloomers. They, like I said, they are on the way. This was supposedly hung up in, they said it was hung up in uh, customs and it was supposed to take a month to get it. So I'm not quite sure what's going on with this. So, I got it early. But if they show, if a second one shows up in a month, then I'll have two. And then I can put the crummy one somewhere else. We'll see what happens. It could be another one of those cases where I get sent to the ads because I did have an order on my old card, which was stopped. And she said, I do have still have an order on my good card, the card I have now. And that one was held, she said, that one was held in customs, it would be a month. And I probably won't get it till next month. But this one came, so we'll see what happens. Cross your fingers for me that hopefully I still get the other one and that it'll be a lot better than this. Well, I'm going to see if I can sneak my way into Red Velvet Underground and hang out with Dory and the crew. I don't have any money to spend again. Last night I did, I had money. Today, tonight I don't. And I know I'm not counting on somebody buying me a drink or sharing a pizza with me because I'm not a mooch. But things happen. So, I will keep you posted. I've got to stop the thing, finger things. I will keep you posted. Again, okay, um, on the news with my mom, they have her off her diuretic, so they've avoided, they've gotten her kidneys functioning as, about as well as they can for somebody her age. And that, the lack, you know, not being as dehydrated, her mind is a little bit more clear than it was. And my sister said she was able to get up and use her walker, and she can remember people a little bit. But that's only going to be short lived because there goes the handsy. It's only going to be short lived because since you're taking her off the diuretics, that means she's going to be retaining fluid. So. She's going to go from her kidneys working too hard to not working enough. So the doctors really, yeah, it's a trade-off. They did her a favor, but not much of one because her kidneys are still going to go. Either way you look at it. So please keep good thoughts for my mother. Um, and no, she's not going to get better. There's no better at this point. It's bad days and worse days and marginally good days. So let's just... You know, I know, I don't want, you know, I don't want, you know, people like thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers. Well, in some cases, it comes in handy. It does. White rings. Definitely not good. Um, just, anyway, please, uh, continue to have good thoughts for her because, oh. I'm hoping that they'll at least be able to keep her comfortable and in good spirits. That's all we can hope for right now is to have her happy and comfortable. 
So that's it. That's my crummy shower curtain. Again, hopefully, like I said, hopefully maybe they'll send me, still send me the one that I'm supposed to get in a month. And we'll compare, you know, if they do, we'll do compare and contrast and see. And my mom's obviously not getting better. She's still late stage dementia and that's not going to change. So, um, the channel, I'm going to try and do what I can because I still have those bloomer pants on the way. I ordered a doll from adorabledollshop.com slash Etsy. It's, uh, her name is Rock, the, her, the doll maker, the crafter. <sighs> I can't remember her last name right off the top of the head, but her first name is Raquel. So check out Raquel on Facebook and check out her Facebook page for adorable dolls and also check out her Etsy shop as well adorabledolls.com I was going to order Mortuelia because the bubble said what doesn't kill me makes me stronger and that like I was telling her that seems to be my motto right now it's like I've been through some stuff I've seen some stuff not as bad as some people have seen but I've seen some stu I've seen some crazy stuff and I'm still here. I'd like to think I'm stronger for it than I was. And hence, it would have been nice to have that one. However, <sighs> the one that she did have left was named Titania. And it's got a similar message. And I will show you Titania when she comes. Um, Raquel is getting ready to ship. She's supposed to be preparing titania for shipment she's gonna you know get it wrapped and packed and shipped so it'll be on the way sometime next week so i should be getting it in a few weeks so hopefully we'll have a, again hopefully better shower curtain hopefully um my striped pants and hopefully by then i can resist the urge to wear those comfy shorts and that really big loose comfy t-shirt oh so I can do a shabby chic, my take on geek, geeky goth, hippie goth kind of style that I have and show you all three pieces. So look forward to that. Striped pants, full outfit, both pairs, both bottoms and the, and the one top, maybe a second top because it looks really cute with the I found this humorous. And this shirt's kind of faded, but I think because that gives it a more shabby look, more of a grungy look. That might look, this will probably look really cute with that as well. So I'll pro I might try to style it with this top and the humorous top and the one that came, that I bought to go with it with the fish. So that's what's coming up. That's what's going on right now. Again, I'm going to try and see if I can hang out if they let me. Um... They might not because they've got rules. You can't just buy water to restaurants. So I'll see you guys next time. Don't drag and drive. I'm getting too cliche even with that. Um, keep it, but I will say keep it dark and keep it weird. And I know I haven't been doing a lot with the Halloween bills, bills, people, you know, somebody stealing money off my card etc. So I will try. I am going to do some. Maybe next paycheck I can do a little. So it's, it's yeah, I, it's not June or July like it was last year. <sighs> but I'm at least going to try to do some August and September and then we'll see if we can get some more spooky ornaments for our Gothmas tree as well. So I love you guys. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.